San Bernardino, this is exactly what we needed at this point in camp. Um, it's always great to be back on this campus. They take such great care of us and they take a lot of pride in having us here and showing us their best. I mean, the meeting rooms are fantastic. The meals are great. The dorms, we're back in the dorms we've been in the last, uh, or the previous three years besides last year, and it's great. Um, the fields are in the best shape they've ever been in, and uh, the weather's perfect. So we're excited to be here. We'll be here for four, uh, six days, eight more practices, and we'll get a lot out of it. But uh, like I said, just great to be up here and get work in. I thought their attitude, their energy, their effort was outstanding. Um, I think the fact that we're just here for six days and we can really focus in on those nine practices uh, is going to keep us mentally sharp. So I'm, I'm very, very excited about being back here. And I'm very excited about the attitude that our team demonstrated this morning. How does the weather compare to the past trips out here so far? Uh, it's, I don't know. I don't really pay attention to the weather. I mean, and I don't want them to pay attention to the weather. It's something we can't control. And uh, if that becomes the focus, then it takes the focus off what needs to be the focus, which is the football. So when we had our meeting yesterday, we said, okay, guess what? It's going to be hot. And that's all we talk about it. We just try to stay away from it. So uh, I think that's the right mindset. And that's what we'll try to continue to, to have. With guys that have been here before, is is there kind of a different attitude among those guys that they know what they're getting into? There's no surprises. There's no no shock to the system. Yes. Yeah, there is. And um, you know what? They're ex I think they're genuinely excited about being here this year. And I think that that's because we cut it down a little bit. And that was the point of cutting it down a little bit is to make this really uh, a very concentrated, special six days up here in this environment. Um, where we can really grow together as a team and get some great work on two grass fields in a beautiful setting in, in a great climate. How do you feel the offense is coming along at this point? I, I think the last, you know, I don't know, four, five, six practices, they've really shown well. I think that they've, uh, they, they're operating well as a unit. The protection is, is, is good. We're running the ball capably. Um, Josh seems like he's settling in and, and getting a feel for his receivers. Uh, and I'm very happy with the progress of the offense. I love the, the schemes that we're utilizing offensively. I think that Kennedy is doing an amazing job just being organized, being detailed, uh, being demanding. Uh, and, and it's a great group of teachers, but it's the players that are grasping it and learning it and studying it and taking the time and, and really developing. So I'm excited about the offense. I am. Was Dion not out here today? Dion um, on Saturday, uh, he he got a, a hit to the head. Um, it was, um, if you can call those things minor, it was on the, the 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 scale. It was a little bit more minor than serious. Uh, we're always going to err on the side of caution when it comes to any type of, of head injury. So we're going to hold him out for a couple days. Make sure that he's okay. He is part of our larger UCLA concussion study that we're doing. One of the one of the top studies in the country uh, being done on the UCLA campus. So yesterday he was uh, he got an MRI. He gets blood work. It's really an incredible study that we're doing at UCLA, and he's part of it. You know, unfortunately, you know he did suffer a little bit of concussion, but maybe through that we can learn something and help players down the line. Um, and the same with um, Cameron. Cameron Ju or Cameron Griffin, mm -hmm. um, he he got he, he took a, a more significant hit to the head. We're going to let him stay at home um, with his family for three or four days before we bring him back up here. You he know, does. it's just we don't need him in this environment right now. I'd rather have him in the comforts of his home where his mom can take care of him and uh, and he can have some peace and quiet. The thing with the concussion study, do those, are those guys wearing helmet sensors or is is there anything? In we're not on field. We're not doing that right yet. Okay. Uh, we will eventually. Um, it's more just monitoring them and uh, and uh, doing the, the MRIs and the, 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 the scat tests and all those things. So you had a lineman that like had a heat issue today. He was getting treatment over there. Michael Alves, uh, you know, a little. The heat got him a little bit. He also, you know, he's been fighting a swollen knee. Nothing serious. Nothing structural. Just a, you know, he got a bump. Um, the other day, and I think the heat combined with the knee just got him, but he'll adapt. There he is right there going in, so um, he'll adapt, and he'll, I'm sure he'll probably be back out here, if not this afternoon, tomorrow. He he fought through it Saturday. He hurt his knee. Saturday morning came back out, out Saturday afternoon and did a nice job.
Any more clarity on the Mike situation right now? Nothing has changed with regards to Mike at this point. When something does, then I'll, I'll let you guys know for sure. So, okay. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thank thanks you.